Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode paying tribute to The Simpsons. So far, we've made portraits covering The Simpsons family, the Springfield nuclear power plant, some Halloween specials. So, what category of characters shall we dive into today? Let's spin the wheel and let fate decide. I'm just kidding. We're doing one-shot wonders. You saw the title of the video. Now these are characters that only appeared a single time, but boy did they leave a lasting impression. These four episodes have to be among the most memorable and beloved of the entire show. I could talk about each one for an hour, but I'm going to try to keep it to a minute, starting with Marge vs. the Monorail. 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 This one features the fly-by-night salesman Lyle Landley, convincing the citizens of Springfield to invest in his shoddy mass transit system. The character is brought to life by the brilliant performance of Phil Hartman. There's nothing on earth like a genuine bona fide electrified six-car monorail. And the writer of the episode, Conan O'Brien. <laughs> the greatest writing room I've ever been a part of. And I will tell you this, I wrote a bunch of episodes I was very proud of, but I wrote one in particular that seems to resonate with people over time. He's directly inspired by Professor Harold Hill, the con man kind of protagonist from one of my favorite musicals, The Music Man. If I'm going to get your town out of the serious trouble it's in. Next up, Mr. Scorpion. Don't call me Mr. Scorpion. It's Mr. Scorpio, but don't call me that either. Call me Hank! Evil genius and owner of the Globex Corporation from the episode You Only Move Twice. Now, I'm a big James Bond fan, so I love seeing all the little secret agent homages in this one. Good afternoon, gentlemen. This is Scorpio. I have the doomsday device. And the idea of having a nice guy supervillain who seems to genuinely care about the well-being and happiness of his employees is hilarious. Let him go. You'll stay here with me. We'll go bowling. Credit to Albert Brooks, who apparently improv several of his lines. But Homer, on your way out, if you want to kill somebody, it would help me a lot. <laughs> and like many others, I am baffled why he wasn't the villain of the Simpsons movie. Especially when the villain they did use was voiced by the same actor, Albert Brooks. Come on! I was waiting for that big reveal that whole movie. Oh well. Next, we have the show's take on Mary Poppins with Sherry Bobbins. Did you say Mary Poppins? No, I definitely did not. I'm an original creation like Ricky Rouse and Monald Muck. A magical and musical nanny brought in to try to improve the Simpsons' bad habits through song. Bobbins, I want another beer. Well, you know, Homer. If there's a job that must be done... Lady, the man asked for a beer, not a song. Do read me. Of course, they eventually crush her spirit when she realizes they are completely a lost cause. Wasted away again in Margaritaville. Searching for my lost shaker of salt. Oh, here it is. Remember, at this point, we as the audience had spent nearly eight years with The Simpsons. So we had gotten used to their maladjusted behavior. It was a great idea to have an outsider kind of character coming in and reminding us just how dysfunctional the Simpsons really are. Sherry Bobbins is a great example of that. But she's not the greatest example. Welcome to the Simpson residence, or Casa de Simpson, as I call it. <laughs> yeah, what did you want to see me about, Simpson? This better be important. Frank Grimes is what happens when a realistic character with a strong work ethic is forced alongside Homer Simpson. As he bears witness to Homer's infamous laziness and ineptitude, old Grimey becomes more dismayed and infuriated that Homer's irresponsible antics seem to fuel his charmed life of success and comfort. It's me, all right. And the guy standing next to me is President Gerald Ford. And this is when I was on tour with the Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, and here's a picture of me in outer space. You. When in outer space. You. Sure. You've never been? When he tricks Homer into entering a children's contest in order to expose his stupidity, Homer is victorious, which causes him to have a mental breakdown and illustrate the true danger someone like Homer could have on people in the real world. You're what's wrong with America, Simpson. You coast through life, you do as little as possible, and you leech off decent, hard-working people, like me. He's got you there, Dad. The Simpsons had always been somewhat self-reflective, but the show had never critiqued itself this harshly, and it was a real wake-up call to how ridiculous this world had become. Hey, fun fact! Frank Grimes' character design was based on Michael Douglas from Falling Down, a movie about another straight-laced working stiff that inevitably snaps. I'll be honest, I've been looking forward to paying tribute to these characters ever since I started this show. I can't wait any longer. Let's dive in. You know, a town with money is a little like the mule with a spinning wheel. No one knows how he got it, and dang if he knows how to use it. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> mule. 
I give you the Springfield monorail. So then, mono means one, and rail means rail. And that concludes our intensive three-week course. How are you? I'm Hank Scorpio. Wow, my boss. Don't call me that word. I don't like things that elevate me above the other people. I'm just like you. Oh, sure, I come later in the day, I get paid a lot more, and I take longer vacations, but I don't like the word boss. You have 72 hours to deliver the goal, or you face the consequences. My name is Grimes, uh, Simpson. Frank Grimes. I took the trouble to learn your name. The least you can do is learn mine. God, I've had to work hard every day of my life. And what do I have to show for it? This briefcase and this haircut. And what do you have to show for your lifetime of sloth and ignorance? What? Everything! Everything! everything, everything. Hi, crime, you old buddy. I'm not your buddy, Simpson. I don't like you. In fact, I hate you. Stay the hell away from me. Because from now on, we're enemies. The name's Landley. Lyle Landley. Call me Hank. I'm Sherry Bobbins. Riley is like to be called. Pick the pieces right there to get the patterns to make your own absolutely free. You have my investors on Patreon to thank for that. And an extra special thanks to my Pixel producers, here they are now. Stay tuned for some special videos, guys, because we are about to start the countdown to episode 100. <laughs>